One of the most commonly asked questions I get, especially from new users, is, Matt, where do I start? In other words, what instrumentation do I start with or what kind of tracks do I start with? And the answer to that question can be either really easy or it can be somewhat more difficult. However, if you purchased Cubase as part of your commercial recording studio, then the answer to the question is quite easy because it's going to depend on the clients that you have coming into your recording studio. And chances are, if it's a band, they're going to start with the rhythm section. So you'd lay down some scratch tracks so your drummer has something to play against while you're laying down those rhythm tracks. Then you'd record the bass, the rhythm guitars, and so on, usually ending with the vocals. However, if you're not in a commercial recording studio and you're doing music on your own, here we are in front of what is essentially a blank sheet of paper. So a Cubase project with nothing in it can be either really scary or it can be really easy. And hopefully I'm going to make it really easy for you. So probably the best thing to do is to think about what instrument you play and what sort of ideas you have in your head to get going. For example, if you were a pianist, then you'd probably want to start with either a MIDI or an instrument track, unless you were recording an acoustic piano. But let's make this really easy and just use our MIDI keyboard in conjunction with an instrument track. So I'm going to right or control click in the track list and choose add instrument track. And then if you click the browse button, then it's going to reveal the browser. And if you hit the reset button, then you're going to see all of the different instruments that you can add to your track list. So let's start with just a simple plain old piano. Let's go into the category column and click piano then choose acoustic as part of the character and then here are all of the sounds that you have available to you in Cubase that you can use for pianos. Now you could go through and audition these but just for the sake of time I'm going to click on Yamaha S90 ES piano because this is one of the nicest pianos that comes with Cubase and then it adds that track to your track list. The track is record enabled and when you play your MIDI keyboard You hear that piano, and you could hit the record button and just start playing the track as you're hearing it in your head. However, for me, I'm not a piano player, so I typically start with the classic recording studio order of starting with the rhythm section first, so I'd lay down the drums. So I'd probably come back to the track list, and I'd add another instrument track, and I'm going to hit the reset button here again. And this time I'm going to go into drums and percussion. And maybe I'd want something in the ambient chill out style. And then I'm going to click on Groove Agent SE here. And let's go with the ambience kit. And then I'm going to click on add track. And now I have that track that I could play from my MIDI keyboard. Now, I'm pretty good at playing drum patterns from a MIDI keyboard, but if you're not, or if you haven't taken drum lessons, then you may want to take advantage of some of the built-in patterns that come with Cubase. There's all sorts of ways to access those. Let me show you one of the most common ways. I'm going to come over here to my right zone, and I'm going to just click and drag this open so we can see it a little bit more easily. Then if you don't see loops and samples right here, or you're seeing anything other than these selections, just click on the Home button and it will take you there. Then let's click on Loops and Samples, and I'm going to go into Drum Loops. And then as you can see, there's a similar sort of browser in this window. So if we were to reset the filters, Here's that little reset button again. Then let's go into beats and then let's go into classic R and B and let's take a listen to 073 drums. And I'll just single click on that and it will start playing. So if we wanted to use that pattern as part of our project, all you need to do is click and drag that over into a blank area of the track list. You can see that there isn't a track associated with this piece of material right here because this is an audio file. So when I lift off of the mouse button, it's going to automatically create an audio track for me and that drum pattern will be in there. So when I press play on Cubase, it will automatically be playing in the same tempo as the Cubase project.
So to answer the question of where should I start, I would recommend that you start with the instrument that you feel most comfortable with and lay down some tracks and just get some ideas out there. And especially when you're first learning Cubase, it's better to not go in thinking that you're going to write a life-altering piece of music. Go slow and just mess around with some stuff because if you set your expectations too high, chances are you'll be disappointed in the beginning. So just mess around and do some stuff that you may or may not keep. So with those things in mind, next let's talk about the metronome.